welcome back to the channel for episode 88 of Glory Glory FC United and coming up in today's video we are playing Manchester City away in the Premier League and we're going to skip the West Ham game and play the first leg of our Champions League quarterfinal first knockouts round can't remember against Juventus away from home as well since you were last with me we have played through the whole of January including Another defeat in the Premier League, this time away against Newcastle, where Luke Hume did score a very late consolation goal. Uh, but uh, it's been a while since you were with me. We played Dynamo Kiev and Man United in the last game, so I've played through quite a few fixtures. You can see Luke Hume has been ever-present in most of them, and he scored in most of them as well. And uh, his streak uh, was pretty damn good. He scored in every single game in December, and... Uh, Scored the three games before that as well. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games in a row he scored a goal. Then he didn't... Did he play against Spurs? I can't remember. He did, but he didn't score. But then away against Everton, he was on the score sheet there. And then against Southampton, he got the game a goal against Newcastle. He uh, Did he play against Arsenal? He did, but he was injured. Okay. And then away against Chelsea, that was a very, very impressive win, where Yunus Haji, not Haji, Haji, scored both goals, including a very, very late winner, which I was really over the moon with. And uh, Luke Hume things again at home to Brighton in the FA Cup fourth round, where he scored <laughs> three goals in extra time. Added time, I should say, because uh, 45 plus 1, 45 plus 3, and 90 plus 3, where he scored yet another hat-trick. And then he got a sole goal against Everton, and then and Everton again. And uh, so we are playing uh, Arsenal in the Carabao Cup final. Uh, whether I show you that or not, I'm really not 100% sure. Um, probably, probably not. I'm really not sure. Uh, but we have only got five games here in February, and uh, thankfully, um, I would say it's most welcomed because... Our injuries are looking a bit better now. Your heater is back. Uh, it was only a slight knock. Gary Slater did actually play in the previous game against Everton. Kept a clean sheet, which is pretty good. Well, very well done, uh, Mr. Slater. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get into uh, the opening game. Now, of course, I'm just going to hit quick pick very quick and see what we've got. That looks acceptable to me. Uh, no one really returning from injury. Roberto, now, has he just returned from injury? Because I didn't have him on the bench. Was he Was he injured? Was he injured? How can you do injuries? No, he's not. So why did he... Th why did I think he was? He's just not on the bench for some weird reason. Have we got anyone that can play on the left-hand side? Yeah, see. We need Dedich. See, we don't really need... Potato on the bench because we've got Haji and oh that's it isn't it hey what we might give a debut to Clovis today as well uh, January um, Wonder Kids come through as well just to confirm who am I going to put him on the bench for let's just do Concalves tell you what we'll have Haji on the bench then is you tired? No, you're match fit. Okay. And we do want a good team going into this game. So I think if we leave out Canarts, have Haji on the bench and uh, have Concalves partnering Gahome. Looks good to me. So let's get into this game. Yohito and Goal are back four of Malango, Concalves, Gahome and Goksu. Giroud, Tisaronis and Husto in midfield with Mendes and Al Hassan supporting master hit in form Hume right now. Watch him not score today. I mean, to be fair, we are away against Manchester City, which, of course, is still a tough fixture, despite them not really being in title contention for the last five, six years, maybe. I don't even think they're finishing the Champions League spots. That's something we'll have to double-check. And uh, so let's get into this game. Uh, we do have a good record against Man City. Uh, we are, as things stand, including today's game, 10 points clear of second place Man United. So... Um, yeah, <laughs> it's weird because we've not lost two games in a more than one game in a Premier League season for a long time. And um, to lose two already, a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> but um, I still think we'll be okay regardless. We're getting a little bit of lag here and I really don't know why. 
hopefully that this will sort itself out. I do apologise. Right, we've got a really long highlight here, so I'm guessing this is going to end in a goal. Manchester City do have a lot of talent in their team. Hume puts a lovely ball out there to Mendes, but it eventually does get to him. Mendes, what can he do now? Can he pop this in? He whips it in. Husto with the header. Oh, and Al Hassan smashes it home for 1-0. He scored in the previous game as well. He's still being used on that right-hand side of midfield. He's not as... He, I think he is starting to slow down a little bit. But, um, yeah, he's still getting game time on that left uh, right-hand side. And uh, uh, I'm guessing uh, whoever takes over from me uh, when we do the five years in the future, I'm guessing we'll try and move him into the central midfield. Uh, but I, I guess we'll see. You know, I have no idea what's going to happen when I leave. Very well could change the formation. Luke Hume very well could leave as well. Oh, that was a terrible challenge. And Kolsov, oh, it's a good save from Yohito. Tackles are only beneficial if you actually win the ball and just don't give it straight away again. Just, you know, just making sure. Just going to put that across. 25 minutes in. It is just a sole goal from Al Hassan so far. Completely acceptable result, of course, going away to Man City. I mean, yeah, they're currently in eighth place. So, uh, really not having a good time. Right, Master Hume now skips past the defender. What's he going to do from here? He's got angles really against him. Yeah. Okay, straight into the second half. I uh, just had a, t a difficulty with my PC there, but it's all sorted now, thankfully. Uh, but uh, another highlight here. Goksu, Husto, Tisa Ronis. Back to King Calvez. Malango. It's now with Giroud. Malango. Mendes now puts it to Giroud. Giroud tries to slide it in for Hume. Not the best pass. Manchester City do win the ball back. Is with Parkins now. Mendes, oh, just gets the ball off Parkins so easily there. And what's Mendes going to do here? He shoots. It's a decent save from Robson there in the goal. And Man City with a corner here. So it's in and Yohito gathers the ball fairly easily there. What's he going to do? It's it upfield. Al Hassan heads it on for Hume, who I think is on side. Hume! Oh, he scores again! Come on! And Luke Hume gets his 35th goal of the season to make it 2 0. And that was beautiful there from Al Hassan. I mean, obviously, it all starts from the keeper there. Yohito picks Al Hassan out. Al Hassan heads it on for Hume. And Hume is being playing on side. And Hume beautifully slots it home for 2 0. And that is awesome. Right, I think it might be substitution o'clock now. We have a few tired players out here. Thankfully, there is a bit of a break before the uh, Juventus game. Obviously, we have the uh, game against West Ham, which I'm going to do off camera. I think we'll give a debut here to Clovis as well, because why the hell not? And I think we'll bring Haji on for Geherme. I know there's a few tired players out there still, but, you know, we'll probably make a few changes for the West Ham game. So, um, I guess we'll see. Um, we'll ignore that. Is Giroud... Oh, Giroud's still on the pitch. Yeah, oopsie. Okay, 85 minutes. We've got another highlight here. Roberto, Hume, puts it back to Roberto, who audaciously does get it to Mendes. Puts it in for Giroud. Oh, good save there for Robson. Thought Giroud hit that really, really well. And we've won the ball back straight away. Husto, is he going to have a shot? He puts it to Roberto, who holds up the play. Roberto! And it's another good save from Robson. Robson, to be fair, has really done well for the Man, uh, Man City today. It really kept the scoreline down. We could have won this game by more. And Clovis is already taking corners. That's interesting. He'll probably start the next game and score a goal. <laughs> Ponce, Mana, Haji with the clearance. As Man City again on the attack. Parkins. Parkins tries to whip it in and it's uh, intercepted. And Mendes does get the ball to Hume. What can Hume do here? He holds up play and, oh, that's a little bit touch and go there. Mendes now bringing the ball forward. Can he, oh, Mendes has gone down. Are we going to get a penalty here? Referees going over to the little telly. 
One thing I hope they do bring in in FM22 is a skip button for this, because this, a lot of the time, takes way too long. Just skip it, get the VE off, come up to say whether it's a penalty or whether it's not. I think this will probably be given. And what we got? Penalty awarded. Awesome. And who is going to be taking this? I've not got an option to change it. So I'm guessing it'll be Hume. And it looks like it is. It is Master Hume. Luke Hume steps up and Luke Hume scores again. A brace for Master Hume. 36 goals this season. And turning out, thankfully, to be a better than how, how it started because I was a little bit concerned in the first few games of the season because he didn't really show up. Right, she rude. Slides it across for Roberto and he's missed. And that was a great opportunity for him to get on the score sheet as well. Sadly not, but it does still end. Manchester City nil, FC United of Manchester 3. And that is a really, really good performance. Really nice result going into a game against Juventus, of course. Uh, but, well, obviously I've got the West Ham game to do off camera. So I'll get that done and I'll be back. Very narrow win at home to West Ham, including a late winner from Roberto. You can see um, pretty much a fully changed squad apart from Yohito and uh, one or two others. Al Hassan came on as a sub. Uh, but, yeah, we won 2-1. Uh, satisfied... I think that's probably a fair analysis of the game. Let's get into the Juventus game. Well, that 10-day gap between the last two games has been really, really handy for all of these players because uh, we have more or less a fully fixed squad. It's just a Repetti who's still out with an injury and uh, Jean Carlos and Roberto are still not fit enough uh, to start. But um, I think we've got a pretty damn good squad going into this first leg away against Juventus. So we're going with Yohito and Goal, a back four of Malango, Kinkalvis, Gohame and Goksu. Giroud, Tisaranis and Husto in midfield with Edson Gohame and Al Hassan supporting Master Hume up front. I think I'm actually going to put Castillo in there instead of Al Hassan because Al Hassan, like I've said, he can be used in midfield as well. Saying that, we'll do that instead. So ignore what I just said. Al Hassan in midfield, Castillo on the right hand side, and uh, do we have? I think we have Dedic on the bench in case. Um, Gohame doesn't get through the entire game. But we also have Mendes as well. Mendes obviously to cover left back as well. The hell is that? Oh, I was looking at my I, I think I was thinking that he was Juventus then because I saw Funes. I was like, hey? Eh? But it's fine. It, it's absolutely fine. Cool. Right. Um I think we avoid defeat here. I think it'll be a decent result. Uh, but um obviously we do want to win. Because uh, it's what we do, really, in uh, these type of games. Uh, I mean, imagine if we got Hertha Berlin again in this round. It would be absolutely crazy. I mean, there's still the potential. We'll get them in the quarterfinal, should they get through against Bordeaux. But, who knows. And obviously, we've got to get through against Juventus as well. Guherme, Malango. Concalves now. Guherme, not that one. Edson, Guherme now. Still holding on to the ball. Gets it over to Castillo. Hume is in the box. Castillo has gone down. Looked like he might have dived to me. But uh, obviously, referee's going over to the tiny telly. I'm getting out of the way. And I just seem to be walking along the line for some reason. Uh, we got that penalty. I mean, he's going over there. Okay, fair enough. And have we? And we do have a penalty. I believe Master Hume will be taking this. He is indeedy. Please score. I do have faith. I have faith in you, Luke. And he scores. Come on. I didn't say how much faith. I wanted to just say that after he yet took the penalty. But Luke Hume scores. 15 minutes in. It is 1-0. Luke Hume scores from the penalty spot. Doesn't normally go to the left of the goalkeeper. He's normally on the right. But Luke Hume with penalties recently. It's been a bit up and down. But he has scored his last couple. Which does make me happy. Right. Goksu. Al Hassan now. To Goksu again. As he puts it in for Luke Hume. And Luke Hume scores again. It's 2-0. And that is just the perfect combination. Goksu. Al Hassan. Hume. You're guaranteed goals. And that is absolutely incredible. And I'm really happy with that. Goksu. Al Hassan. Back to Goksu. 
Goksu is the one that slides us into him, isn't he? And Hume just loses his man there and just tucks it home so beautifully for 2-0. And that is just lovely, lovely to see. And we've got another highlight here. And Lakinson, how come he's playing? He's our player. That's a little bit strange. We haven't agreed to sell him either. Lakins Lakinson now. Sit in, and he's responsible for Juventus getting a goal. Because he's assisted at Mariam Bordu. In uh, getting a goal back for Juventus. Not ideal. And he's taking a corner here as well. Oh my god. Look at that. The last couple of minutes. We were 2-0 up and cruising. And, you know, within the next 10 minutes, we're a little bit backs against the wall kind of thing. Just clawing onto our lead. But Castillo, chance now to counter-attack. Running down this right-hand side. Luke Hume is in the box. Luke Hume! Oh, he scores again! <laughs> it's 3-1. I was going to say 3-0. Juventus scored a goal, didn't they? Oh, look at that. Beautiful counter-attack. And it's gone from 2-0 to 2-1 to 3-1 in the last seven minutes. Luke Hume, lovely, lovely shot there. Hits the post and in. And Luke Hume has scored a hat-trick in the opening 30 minutes of this game. And why? Why do I question this chap? He is just an incredible, sensational player in this game. And uh, I'm hoping there's a way he can replicate what he's doing in this game in FM22. Because, you know, despite me not being the one managing him, at least straight away, yeah, oh no, that's got hit too far. And she's now is in for Juventus. And she's scored. It's 3 2. My word, is this entertaining for the neutrals? It's now Juventus 2, FC United of Manchester 3, and Gaherme. I mean, they're both really at fault there, aren't they? But, oh man, it's very entertaining. But Juventus have actually had the better of the opportunities, really. Right, um, I'm pleased because we're winning. But that is the only reason why I'm pleased. I'm not happy that we've conceded two goals. But I am very happy that Luke Hume scored three. And uh, what is the hell is the second half going to bring us? Because uh, it's mental. Just seen there, Hertha Berlin have gone 2-0 up at home to Bordeaux. Right, Gaherme, back to King Calvez. Tisa Ronis, Giroud, Hume, out to Gaherme. Edson Gaherme, blocked. Malango, it's into Giroud. Malango, Tisa Ronis, Gaherme! Oh, is that actually a corner? I thought that was offside. Blimey. Right, got should we... Oh, I don't really want him to get sent off. We'll pick up a yellow card, do we? Because if he picks up a yellow card, he'll be suspended for the return leg. And Goksu is my best right back. Right, I'm not going to sub him off just yet. It's 3-0. I think it's game over there. 4-0. It is definitely game over. Fabrizio Juarez has scored a goal there as well. Um, I'm really disappointed we only got 50 million for him. That was actually... Um, you know what? I think we're going to bring Mateo on for Hume. We'll do that. We'll bring... Mendes on for Malango. And we'll bring... Haji on for Goksu. We'll make three changes now. I hope that does not backfire. Really hope that doesn't backfire. She's in now. I was about to delict. It's given away. Gaherme picks it up. It's now with Castillo. Hadji. Hadji puts it into Edson Gaherme. And it's just over. Very, very close there. To uh, extending the lead again. And we have a throw in. Just before the 80th minute here. Hadji will take this. Gets it to Castillo. Back to Hadji. Puts it into Al Hassan. Oh, and he scores. Isaac Al Hassan has scored to make it 4 2. And that, if it, things stay the way they are, that is going to give us a really nice advantage in the return leg. Because four, four goals away from home. I'm going to have to leave that bark in there. Apologies. But um, four goals in this game. 
Okay, so one bark turned into two barks, three barks, four barks, you know how it goes. So uh, we're resuming now. Al Hassan bringing the ball forward. Al Hassan pops it into Edson Gaherme. Goes over to Haji, you head to on for Al Hassan. Oh. It's a good save. If Al Hassan scored there, I think the game would, uh, the tie would have been over there and then. And Giroud really close to scoring a goal there as well. A couple of minutes of added time. And we're home and dry. Four goals to two away from home. Really, really happy with that. And a cracking performance to go with it. Along, of course, including that hat-trick from Master Hume. Which is uh, just spectacular. And uh, Luke, thing, Luke Hume doing Luke Hume things. And uh, really happy, of course. Right, let's hit continue and see where we are at. Now, speaking of uh, uh, Kui, that you would ju just seen like up on the screen, that is going to be one of the players that's included in the FM22 game. So, uh, you've got him to look forward to seeing. Uh, no idea where I'm going to put him to begin with, but um, obviously I'm going to have my FC United of Manchester squad done. And then there's going to be two other players for... Uh, Two other players for each other team in the Premier League. Not every team, but um, select teams, I should say. So you've got a few players going to uh, United, Arsenal, uh, Liverpool, Chelsea, Everton, Tottenham, and uh, a few others as well. So you'll see when that happens who I've decided to include. Um, scout reports. Have we got any scout reports in? Not that it's going to uh, make any difference. Uh, this guy will keep scouting. Let's just keep scouting if we can. Why the hell not? I mean, you look pretty good. What are you, though? <sighs> Literally a position we really don't need to strengthen. But then, I mean, we've got um, Deshesne still out um, on line at Chelsea. We've got Roberto Castillo, Al Hassan. Yeah, I don't think we need any more, but um, we'll acknowledge you. So that's cool. Sergio Sanchez. Um, is he even... I mean, I highly doubt he's going to be interested in coming back. He doesn't look too bad. 73 on the scout reports. So, um, yeah, he's definitely not going to be included because he's uh, such a crybaby. Scout you. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. And then, I don't think this guy's included in the uh, new squads. So, that is all cool. Uh, human presses, of course, we're going to praise him for that performance because that was another really nice performance from him. So, what are we going to be doing for the next video? At this point, I honestly do not know. Don't know if I'm going to include the Carabao Cup final. Don't know if I'm going to include the second leg. Probably will. So, again, what we might do, we might do the Carabao Cup final and then come back for the Juventus game. And I'll just miss out these two games again. Because I've been doing that a lot recently. And then maybe after that we'll play Liverpool and United. And by then the Premier League could be about to be wrapped up, possibly. And then, of course, we've got the um, Champions League, should we qual should we get through against Juventus, which I think we will, considering we won 4-2 away from home. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to play the Leeds game, of course, off-camera, and then come back for the Carabao Cup final, and then the Juventus game. That's what I'm thinking at the minute. It could change by the next episode, but I guess we'll see. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up. Please do subscribe as well if you happen to be new. Real, really would appreciate that. And really appreciate watching. You guys take care. Ciao for now.